Greetings and welcome to this online seminar on getting your graduate degree. I'm Dr. Heath Robinson and I'm going to be leading you through the seminar. I did my master's degree at the University of Alabama in Geography and Geographic Information Systems and then I went up to the State University of New York to do my PhD, also in Geography and Geographic Information Science. And my PhD was funded by the National Science Foundation as a fellow in Geographic Information Science Research. Later, I went on to teach geography and GIS at the University of South Florida and then at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. I'm no longer in academia. I decided to leave that uh, to be an entrepreneur. I've been working on a couple of different companies. And one of the things that I've been doing is GeoMinds, and that's because I am a huge believer in online education. I think it's an excellent format to get information out to people who really need it. And this information on how to structure and set up your graduate program and do it efficiently is very important information. I used to give this information to students at South Florida and also at Illinois. I used to give it to both incoming graduate students basically as soon as they arrived, but I would also start talking about this information to undergrads uh, in their senior year and also sometimes in their junior year. Your junior year is not too early about what they can expect going forward and really how to set up everything so you complete your graduate program on time and also do it in a way that you are the person that you want to be when you leave graduate school. So I thought this information was ideal for an online seminar format. So let's get started. I'm going to be structuring this seminar in terms of time and we're going to be working through it in basically reverse chronological order as well. We're going to be looking at sort of the end goal which is getting your graduate degree and then working backwards from your graduation to figure out at what time different things need to occur in order to make sure that the graduation occurs on time. So what I have these lines here doing is they're going to separate the different degree programs. And down here at the bottom, I've got PhD year one and year two. Now not everybody is interested in going on to get a PhD. I've heard from some people uh, who are interested in that, but it seems like most people in this seminar anyway are sort of focused on a master's degree. So I'm going to kind of focus on the master's degree here. But it's very important to understand what's going on with your master's degree in terms of what's going, what's going on to set yourself up for a PhD if you choose to go on to do that. And so I've just put out some different uh, dates here uh, just for the sake of illustration here. So we've got summer that we're worried with and then we've got fall and spring as well. So summer, fall, and spring are basically uh, an academic year. And most of the timeline that I've broken down here are in terms of fall, summer, and spring. Now of course there is more to a PhD as well. A PhD generally takes four years and now often five years. Uh, so you're going to keep going uh, if you are choosing to get a PhD. Most of the time with a PhD these two years are going to be uh, heavy coursework. So you'll be working on putting together a thesis proposal and all of that or your dissertation proposal. But for the most part when you start a PhD uh, your first uh, couple of years are going to be coursework that your advisor has decided that you need to take in order to shore up any particular areas that you need to sort of remedy any deficiencies that you might have in order to progress with your uh, dissertation. Then for the most part PhD years three and years four will be entirely research and you'll be entirely working on your dissertation. Now before that we have the master's degree and master's degrees are short. They are only two years and when you think about a, a two-year master's program that often seems like a long time in order to take all of the coursework and then also do your master's research but really it's not. It's a very intensive program. A master's degree is really intense for a two-year pro two program so you really have to get in, you have to get busy, you have to think about what's going on and then get it done and then move out of it into either professional work that you're going on to or to further graduate studies for a PhD. Backing up before that is the completion of your undergraduate. Your senior year is going to be very, very important for you uh, if you're planning on going on to graduate study. There's a lot that has to happen in that senior year to really set yourself up, particularly if you're going to do it well. Now I also have the junior year here because we're going to talk about the junior year because I don't think that it's too early to start thinking about all of these things and even start doing some things to set yourself up for graduate studies even in your junior year uh, as an undergrad. Now of course there are two years uh, of study before your junior and senior year. You've got your sophomore year and your freshman year. So those two uh, are above here. Really though if you're just thinking about that, uh, if you're thinking about going to graduate school but you're still in your, so your freshman or sophomore years, it's probably best to just focus on coursework and doing as best as you possibly can in all of the, the classes that you're working on. It's not really until your junior year and certainly your senior year that you need to start reaching out to other graduate programs, start preparing your own projects, and setting yourself up as far as meeting people and developing relationships to go on to graduate school. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to focus on this block right here. 
this spring, the final spring semester of your master's program. And we're going to take a look at the dates that are in here, and then we're going to work backwards each semester from here all the way back up to the fall of your junior year to find out what has to go on in order to make all of this successful.